Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to talk about the future of SWOTAR, what is coming in the near future. Uh, both SWOTAR Central and Valk who are both SWOTAR content creators, if you don't already know who they are make sure you check out the links in the description. Um, they have gone and done interviews with the devs, both Eric Musco and Charles Boyd and they got a lot of really awesome information about what is coming. It's pretty awesome, it's all exciting, and this is all confirmed information. So none of this is speculation, none of this is from data mine information. This is all confirmed, so you can 100% bet that what I talk about in this video, you will see added to the game. And also I want to, uh, well the purpose of this video is to just briefly go over what that new information is. I don't want to go in too much detail, but more just do a kind of broad general overview. So basically 6.0 expansion is confirmed. Uh, we are going to get an expansion, it is going to be a return to the Republic versus Imperial War. So we're we're gonna get a little bit of the whole Eternal Empire and our Alliance thing. That whole storyline is gonna get more or less concluded with the new Flashpoint coming which is called the Nathema Conspiracy and that is coming with patch 5.9. So 6.0 will return to the Imperial vs Republic and um, it's gonna be awesome. Unfortunately that is scheduled for a much later release so we're not getting it anytime near this summer. It's probably gonna be a December release if not early next year. However this summer what we are getting is patch 5.9 which is the Nathema Conspiracy flashpoint and then we're also going to be getting patch 5.9.1 or patch 5.10 uh, the dev said they hadn't they haven't exactly decided but it, basically we're going to get new stuff which i'll talk about uh, a little bit later but firstly on to the what we're getting with patch 5.9 and the nathema conspiracy we're basically getting a very long flashpoint that is story heavy so we're going to have a lot of cutscenes, and it makes sense that it's going to be story heavy because we have a lot of story to kind of conclude if we're returning to the republic versus imperial war then we need to find out kind of get some closure of what exactly is going to happen with the Eternal Alliance and what's going on with our fleet and all our Iocath weapons and all that stuff. Uh, but the Flashpoint itself will have four main boss encounters with a bonus boss. Um, in terms of rewards, we are getting a new tier of augments. So these augments are meant for the uh, Nightmare Mode Raiders or the ranked PvPers and these augments can be crafted but the, the schematics only drop from the flashpoint. So the only way to get the schematics for these augments is to actually play the new flashpoint, which a lot of people aren't too happy about, but that's just kind of the way it is. And um, the other rewards are, we're gonna get a ton of decorations, about 10 to 15 they mentioned. So that's kind of a ton of awesome decorations to get. And also they're gonna have um, a new armor set, they said. So that's kind of cool. Um, with regards to companions, we are going to get Akavi and Mako with patch 5.9. I believe those are also class specific, but don't quote me on that. I just assume they're going to be class specific, so only you know the bounty hunters can get Mako. And then um, here's something that's awesome. They did say that with the future expansions, they're not looking at the chapter release. So they're not going to make it where they only release the content via chapters. They said we're going to get something more or less like a Shadow of Revan and the Forged Alliances. So that's where we get a whole ton of content in just one go. And that's a lot, that was a lot more fun. That expansion release was one of the best. So I, I'm really glad they're going back to that. Now let's go into the more exciting stuff, which is actually coming after patch 5.9 sometime in summer. They haven't given us an exact, exact release date, but something along the lines of July and August, we're going to get some of this stuff. So here we go. Starting with PVP. Finally, PVPers are getting some love, which is what I like to do most in the game. And uh, in regards to PVP, we are getting a new arena. And this arena is called Shea Vizsla's Mandalorian Compound. So they've described it as a beast fighting pit with a lot of Mandalorian decorations and primal stuff. So that's going to be really exciting. I wasn't too stoked about the Rishi Arena, which is the latest arena that was released. I, I'm not a particular fan of that one, but this one does indeed actually sound really cool. So that's exciting. And then they did say they're kind of playing around with new war zones, new war zone types. They said, like they mentioned, um, like doing some sort of rack event with the PvP where they might have like rack ghouls actually in the PvP war zone. They're just kind of playing around with it but none of that is confirmed. We might get a new war zone, we might not, but what we do know we are getting as PvPers is a new uh, arena which is going to be the Mandalorian one. So that's cool. Going on to the strongholds, the confirmed new stronghold is actually a Rishi stronghold. Now I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that because I reported uh, a month ago or something 
that a Hoth stronghold was data mined. And that was data mined, but there was also a lot of negative reception to it. So I'm assuming they did away with that and decided to add in a Rishi stronghold, which was actually a, one stronghold that a lot of people in my comment section really wanted. So I guess they're going to be pretty happy about this. It also kind of works well with the theme because it's being released in the summer. And so it won't hurt to have a Rishi stronghold. And they said they want to do some sort of special stronghold enhancements with it. That's still in the testing phase, so we don't have any information about that. But the Umbara one, for example, was really cool to have like a moving train. I still really like that whole idea and design. And so if they can do something a little bit cool and unique with the Rishi stronghold, that would be really awesome. I personally don't mind Rishi. I think it's a beautiful planet. It's going to be pretty cool to have a stronghold on it. And just to reiterate, that is confirmed. I know I, I do a lot of uh, reporting on strongholds and they don't always get added to the game, but this is a confirmed stronghold. You are getting a Rishi stronghold. Another thing that is probably going to make you really happy is with regards to returning companions, we are getting Jaysa Darkseid kind of next. So that's coming up really, really soon. And then they said Kira and Scourge, who are actually data mined already, they said still a lot more work needs to be done with them. And the reason I think they're taking so long is because the devs have hinted that their uh, comeback to the story is actually integrated very heavily into the story. So it's not just like a companion a alliance alert where you just kind of go there, do a quick conversation, and now you got your companion back. These guys are actually being added into the story. So um, I kind of hope they do something a little bit like that with Jaysa because we've heard a lot about how she's become kind of this sort of mad woman who's like rampaging across the galaxy or something. So it wouldn't really make a lot of sense if they just do a companion alliance alert. So hopefully Jaysa Darkseid also has, or Darkseid Jaysa also has, uh, kind of comes in with via the story and not just an alliance alert. But anyways, there those are the next few companions to come. Jaysa, uh, Darkseid Jaysa is indeed a very popular one, so I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that. I am most happy about that as well. She's one of my favorite companions. And then this summer, you can also look forward to having the nightlife event back for a very short time. All right, so that is kind of the major information summarized very uh, briefly from the two interviews that were done. If you do want to get the full information and see it in its proper context, once again, the links are in the description to both of the interviews. And I do believe people have even posted summaries of them. So um, it shouldn't be hard to access those. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys are excited for the future. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But Swotar is not dying. It's not dead. We've, we're getting a lot of expansions and a lot of awesome stuff going into the future. And that's what makes me the most happy. So I'll see you guys in the next one.